expert. Thank you for making the Weather Network a part of your weekend. We are into a new month, and with that, we're bringing you a new face here to the Weather Network. Welcome to you, Christina Leah. We are just so happy to have you here at TWN. Thank you so much, Rachel, and everybody at the Weather Network for such a warm welcome. And I'm glad it's been a warm welcome because we are into <laughs> our coldest season. How are you handling winter so far? Listen, I can handle it, yeah. but I have to tell you it's not my favorite. Oh, what's your favorite season? Okay. I'm a slave for fashion. I'm going to go with fall because oh. of the fall fashion. Of course. A nice <laughs> scarf, a chunky turtleneck. I love fall too. But if we could pull something good out of the winter, what are you pulling out of the winter? Listen, the best part about living in Canada is we get four beautiful seasons, mm -hmm. right? So I can find something beautiful in every season, but I don't ski. Okay. So I'm not going to tell you ski for winter, but perhaps a nice brisk walk. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You know what? I'm a skier, so maybe I'm going to have to okay. convince you <laughs> to get out on those hills because it certainly brightens up the winter season. Do you want to convince uh, Christina to start skiing? Here's how you can connect with us. We would love it if you can share your weather. Give her a warm welcome because we are getting getting right into our Storm Center coverage right here. That we are going to start with this system into Atlantic Canada and Christina it's bringing a lot we have snow we have the potential for some ice pellets and some rain too yes but I think that Super Bowl Sunday not <laughs> I think I know things are going to change right yes we're yes. going to see some milder air come into Newfoundland and it's going to change things up we're going to see a transition right Rachel for sure first it really is this strong blast of snow we're going to see that snow across Cape Breton Island as well and then as you mentioned the warmer air moves in and we are talking rain and this is really a big amount of rain, upwards of 40 millimeters. Yes, yes. So as we talk about the wind too, the winds are going to be something that will, will change things up. And you know, when temperatures are so close to that zero degree mark, we can have a, a tougher time with precipitation. Yes. So ice pellets could be an issue too. Ice pellets and a combination of winds, something mm -hmm. that I'm sure everybody in the Atlantic is kind of sick of after <laughs> that big storm, right? Absolutely. Sick of or maybe just used to. Yes. So, yes. so you, guys, you guys can <laughs> handle it. All right, Christina, here's a look at some of those Sunday morning temperatures. Okay. So look at this, Edmonton minus 13, Fredericton minus 7, Halifax minus 1. Yeah, and you could see a little bit of sunshine just as that system continues to move its way out. Sunday throughout the day, still into a lot of the action here within Newfoundland. So Storm Center, our coverage, it will continue. And as we alluded to, yes. some of those winds, especially offshore, look at these numbers climb. Yes. Over 100 kilometers an hour at some point. Yeah. Very dangerous. So it is going to feel quite breezy. Now, another system that we are tracking is this snow that's moving across Ontario. How do you feel about some light Sunday snow? Well, well listen, I hate to bring up Super Bowl Sunday once again, <laughs> but a lot of people are going to be watching. I know that there's also going to be a transition. It's not going to be heavy snow mm -hmm. on Sunday, mostly around the lakeshore regions, right? So, so easy to deal with. And yeah. coming up throughout the hour, we're also going to be talking about this. The flooding that is taking place throughout Vancouver Island. Yes. So that coverage is just ahead. Yes, Rachel, our top story continues with the flood in Cowichan Valley, which is currently in a state of local emergency with tens of thousands of residents out of power, several forced to evacuate floods and mudslides causing road closures. You most definitely want to check out BC Drive to find out which roads have been closed. Now, while you are out of power, the reception, the emergency reception at the Cowichan Local Community Centre is open. However, it's always best to call 911 in those dire straits, those times of emergency. Now, just something else to note here is that uh, Southern Vancouver as well as Western Vancouver Island are getting that flood warning, so beware of that. Now, if you want to know what kind of rainfall they've been dealing with here, the most amount of rain, an astounding amount of rain, is right here off the western side of the Vancouver Island at 371 millimeters of rain. You can see from these numbers that it's just been an abundant amount of rain. Now, when Monday comes around, the story changes because we're looking at a high pressure system coming on in, causing some clear skies and stopping that active weather. However, that story is actually not going to be the story for the rest of the week as as you can tell here temperatures above zero but we are seeing active weather you are watching the weather network rachel and christina here with you and christina before we get into the snowy forecast across ontario i gotta ask you are you a believer in the groundhog I have to say, unfortunately, <laughs> no. I don't no. know if I'm on my own. Am I on oh, my own in this? No, I think a lot of okay. people are with you. 
we're going to be getting to Wyerton in a second. Marta's going to be joining us because we, we do got to cover the whole groundhog thing yes. across the country. But first, let's talk about this. A little bit of snow. Did you experience some snow this weekend? A very little bit of mm -hmm. snow, but I know that we're seeing a clipper, a very weak one coming mm -hmm. overnight that's going to change things up for us into the morning. It will. Another cloudy day again. We're going to look at some flurries passing across Ontario and right around the lakeshore down towards Toronto and Burlington. This is where we could see a little bit of mixing. Right. And good thing if you are in the greater Toronto area, you're going to see just a little bit of snow. Mm -hmm. So nothing too bad if you're driving somewhere to see Super Bowl Sunday. You right? got it. Yeah, not N too much snow. Not too bad. Five to ten centimeters of snow up towards places like King Carden and Owen Sound. As we look at those temperatures into Sunday morning, pretty comfortable. Zero in Toronto. Yes, absolutely. I think that I'm bringing some warmth. What do you think? Oh, I think you are absolutely <laughs> bringing some warmth. And of course, comfortable temperatures for Sunday morning is good because we are going to be trusting the rodents as Groundhog Day is here. And I want to send things over to Marta right now. She is in Wyerton. Willie or won't he? We are here in Wyerton where Wyerton Willie is set to make his prediction early tomorrow morning. Now the prediction is whether or not we'll have a longer winter or if spring is around the corner. Now if he sees his shadow that means we have six more weeks of winter and if not well spring is around the corner. Now that prediction is set to happen at 807. Keep it here on the Weather Network for all the details. All right, Marta, thank you for the update. We will have live coverage with Chris St. Clair and Marta on Sunday morning. Now, Christina, how will you be spending Groundhog Day this year? What are you well, voting for? I don't know if I should say this on air, but I don't mind a little <laughs> bit more winter as long as it's mild. I agree. Right? I would be voting for winter, too. So dreaming of early spring, rooting for more winter, watching the movie. The movie Groundhog Day is a good one. Only 9% voting for that one. I think a lot of people, though, getting ready for Super Bowl and getting into that mode, Absolutely, too. Absolutely, yeah. What's your favorite Super Bowl food? Oh my God, that's such a great question. I would say I'm very good at Mexican, so Ooh. I can make nachos, some... Nachos, tacos, that Absolutely. kind of thing? Absolutely, homemade. Okay, and guess what? You know what? Going into Monday, I think a lot of people, if you maybe have a little bit of a Super Bowl hangover or oh. you ate too much food, <laughs> Monday's weather is going to be really easy to deal with. Because look at this, Christina. Watch the yellows as they start to push into the lower Great Lakes. I'm starting to learn already so much from you, Rachel, that that yellow <laughs> means it's starting to feel a little bit like spring. A little bit like yeah. spring. I don't want you to be fooled though. Look <laughs> at some of these temperatures here. Monday, six degrees in Toronto. That is way, way, way above right. seasonal. If you look at this three day forecast here, you can see the trend becoming cooler into Tuesday. Now, Christine, I want to send everybody over to our local forecast where you can get all of those details.